Today I'm going to quickly and simply show you how to thread a basic sewing machine. Now the first thing that we need to do when we thread a sewing machine is to wind the bobbin. So to wind the bobbin we have to first of all put some thread on the spool at the top. Now your spool might be a vertical spool like that but ours is a horizontal one. And then you've got to put a stopper thing on the end because otherwise it will pop off. Now what's really important is that when you wind a bobbin, you don't go around the number one threading part. You go around this kind of button shape thing here and it goes around like this. So it, there's a little groove in there and it goes around like that. Then you put your bobbin onto the bobbin holder and push it down. Now, you can thread this through the holes that are on the bobbin, but I'm too lazy, so I'm just going to wind it around like that. And then, this is very important, you push it over. Now, on some machines, you may need to pull out the wheel that's on the side here, but we don't need to. We simply need to push it over. And then, when you're ready, you put your foot on the pedal which I'll bring up and show you so this is the pedal usually you would use your foot but I'm going to use my hand so I put my whoop, my hand on the pedal and I don't apply too much pressure and you make sure that your thread is in this area here winding the bobbin now just go sort of slowly and keep an eye on everything because that tension that you wind it at is important for your stitches. Now, it should automatically stop at the end, but I'm not going to go all the way to the end. Now, what's really important when you wind the bobbin is that you remember to push it over when it's finished. Cut the thread and remove it. So that's how you wind a bobbin. So this is how to thread the upper part of the machine. I'm going to do a different colour for my upper thread to make it clearer for you. If you have a vertical spool holder, then you may not have a stopper that goes on the top. But for the horizontal one, we always have a stopper. And this might be a bit big. Right. On a lot of the machines, and particularly the Janome machines, they number where you have to go to make it easy. So I'm going to go through the number one, go down here, go under here. Now that would be a universal thing for all machines. Now there should be something here for us to thread through, but there isn't at the moment. Now this is important. If you can come around here and look at this wheel, we need to turn the wheel. And when we turn the wheel, come back here, you'll see that this comes up. Now you will either have to thread the thread through or on this machine I can just do this. So it must go through there. So that's my number four stage. It then goes number five, which is down here. Now, loads of people complain that I call this the thingy and it's this thingy here. So have a really good look at that. So, I'm going to hold the thread in both hands so that I can get it through that hook. Now, it, it will still probably sew if you don't get it through there. But look, did you see that it went through the hook there? So when you've done that, now you're ready to do the thing that I most hate in the world. And that is threading a needle. Now, we do have an automatic threader, but I think that that will be cheating. So... I've just licked my horrible dry hand, my finger, because if I make it wet at the back of the needle, so a viewer pointed this out to me, the thread will be attracted to, so the thread is supposed to be attracted to my spit, yum, on the back of the needle. So, ah, you need to see this. This is the lever that lifts up and down the foot okay 
Now, when your foot is up, you get free flowing thread. When your foot is down, it's like it's got the brakes on it. But I'm going to have it up at the moment and put it. So I've put it in between the prongs of the foot. So this is how to put the bobbin in the bobbin case and then how to bring the thread from the bobbin in the bottom to the top because you can't sew without doing it. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Now for me, I've got a top loading machine. You may have one that goes in at the front. So I've pressed this button to release the plate. You drop it into the bobbin case, in fact that's important, you drop it into the bobbin case and my thread is going anti-clockwise. I'm putting it into the case and then I need you to come and have a look at something. There's like a little bit of a, a catchy thing there so when I go like, I'm trying to do it so it's all in the shot, you go and look there, do you see how it's gone underneath so it went it got caught and it went underneath that little catchy thing that is important right now this is it right that's the wheel and I need to turn that wheel towards me very slowly for the needle to go down now I'm, I'm going to try and do that without being too much in the shop now my camera person is going to go towards the needle so I'm in an awkward position, but I want to show you. This is the top thread, and I do not want you to pull it until I say. You're just supporting it and making sure it doesn't get sucked down. Now, you remember that wheel that I told you about? You turn it towards you, and it makes the needle go down into the bottom. Now, you keep turning it, and then what happens is, if you can focus on that bobbin case, do you see that little bit of action? That's really important. So, when you see that happening, then you stop turning the wheel and you see, now you pull. And when I pulled, can we just get a little close up of that? So from me pulling at the right point, which is when the action happened in the bobbin, we then got the red thread up. We put it in between the fork, of the foot, close the case and I'll go and get some material to prove that it works. So it's not fabric, it's kitchen towel, but remember that lever that drops the foot at the back? I've dropped it. Do you want to see where that is? Shall I turn the machine? So this lever, you can't see it. You can't see it. You can see it. Drop the lever, which drops the foot. All right, now you don't need to turn around. You don't need to turn around the machine to do that. I was just showing you where it was. So up, down, up, down, yeah? And you leave it. Then, to make your machine work, I've got my machine set on a straight stitch because look it says there A is a straight stitch in the middle and this is the size on my machine but all the machines are going to be different so for that you might need to look at your manual. I put my foot on the pedal, now we don't usually need to pull the fabric, all we do is let it feed through and to release it we never release it with the needle in, we use that wheel on the side that you've already seen to make the needle come up, we then use the lever to lift up that foot. Do you remember I showed you before? And we wiggle the wheel as we pull it away. And hopefully you will end up with red on the bottom, blue on the top, all nice and neat. So that's how to thread the sewing machine, wind the bobbin, and do your first stitch. Now we've got loads of videos in our playlist of how to sew on Stitchless TV, so go and have a look. But if there are any videos you'd like me to show, let me know. 
Thank you for watching. Bye. Da 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 da. Da 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 la la. Da 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 da. Did you want to do?